please allow me to introduce you to Mama Cleo and her brand new baby boy. The pygmy hippo was born October 5th, weighing in at 13 pounds. At his arrival, kind of a big deal. For pygmy hippos in North America in captivity, males are not as um, common as females. So having a male baby is actually really important for the population here. Erica Farrell is the zoo's assistant curator. She says they are thrilled to welcome the newest member of their community, but the already 30-pound bundle of joy isn't the only reason to celebrate. Because just about a week after Cleo gave birth, so did Kiki, the 39-year-old western lowland gorilla, delivering her son via C-section on October 14th. So it's really exciting to have a boy. He's probably going to grow up here for a little bit with his mom and then hopefully he'll join a uh, small young bachelor group. Kiki and her son making a rare appearance for our cameras, unlike Joe here who seemed to enjoy the FaceTime. Nonetheless, having a new gorilla and hippopotamus arriving virtually at the same time is rather remarkable. It was intense. Um, we did a lot of planning for it. Both animals taking their time getting acclimated to the surroundings and whether they know it or not, these youngsters are more than just a couple of cute baby faces. They're already serving as ambassadors for their wild counterparts. People get excited to come see a baby animal, but then they also learn about, you know, why they're endangered in the wild and what they can do for them as, you know, just a person living in Boston. At this point, neither one of the babies actually have a name just yet, but I'm told stay tuned to the zoo's social media accounts for plans in the future. At the Franklin Park Zoo in Dorchester, I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB, New Center 5.